Chang. Um, again, the first thing is I appreciate everyone you know, being able to come over here. And, and the good thing is that Tracy actually talked about that part you know, <coughs> already, so I don't need to uh, steal her line uh, in terms of appreciation uh, of uh, you coming over here and uh, to Jura and, and Wad and everyone. Okay, uh, before I get into describing the, uh, the paintings uh, you, you are seeing here, um, maybe let me through, throw in a little bit the uh, quick background of it just so that you can put, you know, the, the, the con put this thing into the context. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I aspired to, to become an artist when I was a teenager, but then I had a huge detour about 30 years. <laughs> and then, so, within these 30 years, I didn't really created any artwork, but in my mind and in my brain I always jot down something. So uh, when the time came that I could do art full time, I had lots, tons of uh, things I wanted to say. And that's a good thing and the problem too, uh, you will know later. Um, the good thing is, okay, I had ample material to just, you know, get down to it and you know that. So that this is kind of my earlier stage of uh, the, the painting, which are usually all narratives, because I wanted, I have accumulated 30 years of voice, <laughs> stories, I want to say something. So <clears throat> inevitably, they're all narrative, and I use the, a lot of musical instruments, uh, in primarily cellos, uh, so some people ask, you know, where's the cello here? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. That's kind of narrative uh, uh, phase uh, of, uh, of my creation kind of career. And then, a few years later, I started to notice, wow, okay, you know, something that's still more beautiful or more intricate or more complex and more beautiful beyond what I wanted to say. So that phase, I started to uh, throw in a more kind of, you know, um, detailed description of the background. And, uh, and typical paintings, uh, you may have seen this, is like the, the swan lake, the, the, the swan lake, and then I put emphasis on, on the water, the, the, the texture and all that. So that kind of second phase, that's the interaction of the subject with the environment. And then gradually I feel that, and, and I notice that actually in our surroundings and, and environments, the, the depth, the complexity, the bed, the bed delicacy, the you know, it's just much, much more than what I wanted to say. So you can see the process from for myself, okay, into work okay, collaboration with environment, now into kind of selfless because once you realize the, the nature, the, 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 the everything, and especially intrigued by the texture and the depth and everything, all dimensions of nature. So this kind of evolved into my most recent paintings series, I call it pre-existing condition. <laughs> and the reason for that is obvious, you know, before human <laughs> beings, before any animals or, or their lives came onto Earth, that's the <coughs> pre-existing condition. That means, you know, no self, no one, no ego, nothing, no stories, just pure nature. And one day it struck me that you know if I want to do a pre-existing condition kind of painting, I cannot use brush, right? Because that would that would leave the the kind of uh, you know human touch, you know, on it. So I thought, okay, we'll get it, brushes out. Uh, but then I said, okay, I mean, how do I then create this thing without using brush or you know pen knife or, or anything? So again, one day it struck me as, you know, why don't I just try to emulate what nature does to the land? Okay, so what I did was, uh, I mixed uh, the oil paint with the uh, um, either liquid or uh, linseed oil or whatever, all kinds of medium, so that I can determine the, the, the viscosity and the, the density of uh, the material and I throw them onto the, the canvas as if they were the uh, primordial <laughs> dirt or mount, okay? And then I started to think, okay, now how nature actually works on it, you know, by rain, by, you know, 
the wind, the storms, the hurricane, whatever. So then, next question is how do I emulate that? So you know, the only tools I can use are very limited, right? The turpentine oil, which will will give you some effect of erosion um, and water too, the the the, the, the rain. And what about the wind? So I use the, 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 the blow, blower, wind blower, and you know all kinds of uh, blowing yeah, devices. Yeah. And then what about the gravity? So I tilt the uh, 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 the canvas. So um, and then the uh, the result. I mean, so it takes you know tons of time because I need I needed to know and test the uh, the the viscosity, uh, viscosity and the density of, of that dirt mound. Mm -hmm. And then we go, you know, if I emerge them uh, on the, uh, say, inside the turpentine oil, how much, you know, it, it starts to show the effect of erosion. And then at that time, should I move it? Should I tilt it just so it, it, it flows down more like the natural, uh, either rocks or soil coming down? Uh, and then also, uh, how do I use water to? kind of wash them down and then especially water comes very handy, you know, when it comes to when it, when it comes to the, the, the waterfall, right? I mean, just <coughs> so I was even surprised by, by the effect of that and it's totally out or well, I try to keep the the, the, the least the human touch uh, on it. Um, and that's the uh, that's the result. Um, and so, but again, suddenly uh, it's layers and layers of texture and, and all that. Um, and then, but of course, there's a human factor. How do I move the, how do I shape the mountain, right? Because it does not, you know, I have to have direction on that. Uh, on that. So, and, and then at the end, I finally, when I have the retrospect, I realized that it, it was actually some of my early day, you know, Chinese landscape painting or education that's actually working that without me knowing it. Um, so. But anyway, and then going forward, and since the whole theme is about nature, not about ourselves and all that, so I plan to, actually, the whole thing so far has five panels that we're only able to exhibit three. Um, it, I imagine the whole thing is going to be 12 panels uh, at least, just so it can be either on the same wall or it can wrap you around. Again, the whole idea is you know, we are emerged in this natural environment and I, do, I just want everyone to kind of appreciate and pay attention to it, the, the texture, the beauty, the, the depth, the intricacy of, uh, of nature. And that's the, uh, um, the thought behind it. Yeah.